Hey guys, this is Jarek the Arab Dragon, another review today. This is... Oh, and first before I start, link in the video information to how much it is, how much it costs. This gun has an incredible cost um, for what it is. Ex amazing externals, amazing internals, just to, everything about it's amazing. So, link to how much it costs, what it is, where to buy it, video information, go look over down there. Alright, so on to the actual review. This is a review of the CYMA CM 035A. Uh, this is the full metal, real wood, and real, yeah, real wood, full metal version. So the boxes actually, uh, they're getting better with the boxes, pretty flashy. Honestly, I could not care about the boxes, I care about what's inside them. So let's open it. Packaged pretty nicely, um, because of the standard CYMA booklet. There's nothing too special about this, the standard poorly translated English. Unjamming rod. Nice styrofoam, the packing overall is good for the gun. Comes with a charger for a mini type that's yeah, a mini type charger some uh, 0.2 gram BBs that are garbage we don't recommend using them so we'll do this a tool for adjusting your front sight a 600 round AK-74U styled magazine now I hear a lot of people don't really like these magazines. I personally like them. Um, a lot of people don't like them because of the looks, because of the uh, sort of wooden colored look. A lot of people say, well, they kind of make them look plasticky. Um, once they're in person, not really in pictures they kind of do. But overall, if you don't like these magazines, you can use your standard full metal, normal AK design magazine. But um, yeah, it's a 600 round high cap mag. Um, now the battery, it does come with a battery. It's a little starming at first. It's right underneath here. You gotta actually rip that tab out. Now I'm not going to do that. I'm simply going to lift the cardboard and pull it out so it, so I don't ruin the actual packaging itself. There we go. Now it's an 8.4 volt, 1100 milliamp stick type battery. And now let's do the gun. Now, like I said before, the quality of this gun is really, really high. Um, the whole body is completely metal, and it doesn't feel like a low quality, just simple pop metal like threw onto the gun and said, here you go, it's full metal. It actually feels really high quality. And um, so yeah, the parts that are metal, the whole body and the stock, trigger guard, trigger, mag release, whole point in the front, all this is metal. And yes, you can take this off, 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread. But, um, yeah, all that is metal. The only part that is plastic, other than the magazine, which I have not had any feeding issues with whatsoever, but the only part that is plastic is the handle, which doesn't feel like a low-quality ABS plastic at all. It feels very high-quality and actually is very, very comfortable in your hands. Now, you've probably heard it already, but this... Back here, what's making that dinging noise is the sling mount, right here. And I'll shake it a little bit so you can hear it if you didn't hear it before. What that is, that is the sling mount here hitting this stock. Um, honestly, it shouldn't be too much of a complaint once you get a sling on there, and once it's in your shoulder, it doesn't make that really loud of a noise anymore, as you can like hear when you're holding it. But once you get a sling on there, it should stop that. But if you still don't like the slight, slight even 
click like that. You can simply either put some tape in between your stock and the sling mount, or get one of the three-point slings. Like most of them come with a little claw thing. Let's say you didn't have a sling mount, it comes with a little claw thing that you can wrap around and connect it onto that. So you can simply use that for there, and it would put something in the way so it wouldn't make that dinging noise. So it shouldn't be too much of a complaint, but while I'm doing this review, it's going to be kind of annoying. Um, Alright, so moving on. Let's start back here at the stock. Like I said, the stock is fully metal and has a sling mount on this side. So yeah, it's a nice quality metal and it does fold over. There's a little button right here. When you push it, it's kind of hard to do with your left hand on that angle, but when you push it, it allows you to fold it, and then it clicks over here. Once it's clicked in place, it's not going to be going anywhere. It makes it a lot easier for close quarter combat, otherwise known as close quarter battle or CQB. So it makes it a lot easier for that. The gun's already small as is, but this makes it even smaller, easier to turn corners. Um, to fold it back out, there's a little tab right here. You can pull it straight off, that's kind of bad for it. You want to pull this tab over to the side, and that'll release it. And then it'll just click over here. And once it's clicked over there, it's not going to be going anywhere. It's pretty much... That's pretty stuck there. Alright, now onto the body. Um, let's go to the battery compartment. The battery compartment is, like on most AKs, exposed when you push this little button here. But unlike the regular AK-47, instead of the whole top coming out, all it does is do this. Is it opens up. Which is a really cool and unique feature instead of fully it coming off. Now the battery compartment, this might look small to you, but it's actually not small. It's actually more spacey than the normal 47. Battery compartment goes from here to the very front. I'm making sure your wires aren't in the way. One of the things is you got to make sure your fuse, because the fuse is tucked down right here. You just got to make sure that's not in the way of your battery in any way whatsoever. Or you don't drop it. But yeah, it does actually fold in all the way from here to up there. And as you can see, there's plenty of space to mess around with it. So there's a lot more space than your normal AK-47. And then you just click it right back down. It's really easy to close it again. That's all it takes. Um, Alright, so over here, you might be able to see it is does have one of these, like if you wanted to add a scope or one of these scope mounts, that mount on the side, you can do that. Alright, up to the selector switch. This is metal. If you push it down once, it's on full auto. Push it down again, it's on semi-automatic. Just like a normal AK-47, 74, or like this, the 74U. And all the way up at the top is on safe. Can't pull the trigger at all. Trigger is immobilized once you do that. Alright, so to the charging handle, when you pull this back, there's a line-based hop-up right there. Now this is the standard really good CYMA hop-up. I've actually had a great, great experience with CYMA's hop-up in all of their AK line and their 030 and their M14. Their hop-up has just been pretty amazing and straight down to it. And I will give CYMA the name of the best clone company. I hold CYMA in very high high regard. 
Alright, so, and this does, this is metal. It feels really nice when you snap it forward. Alright, and like I said, the trigger and trigger guard is metal, and it has a standard AK release where you pull the tab down here. Then you gotta put the magazine in first. And it's not going anywhere. Alright, so the sights. The sights are metal, and I actually like these sights a lot more than the 47 sights. I really am not a fan, not a fan at all of the standard AK-47 sights. They're kind of a pain. They're really annoying, to say the least. These ones, they're really easy on your eyes. They're very easy to see. They're the standard 74U sights. I don't know if you could really see that, but there's... You know, it's the standard post and peep right there, and it does fold down for one for longer ranges, one for closer ranges, but just the way they have it designed is a lot more comfortable than on the 47. All right, now up to the foregrip. This foregrip, this is the real wood version. This does actually have real wood here. And um, I've seen another review and saying there's a little bit of slop around there. There actually uh, isn't on, I don't know about the plastic version, as I've only done work on the real wood version. This isn't the first time I've had this gun or carried it, but there is no slop on the wood version when it goes to the wood hitting the metal. It is really nicely crafted, and it feels very nice in your hands. However, if you wanted to replace the real wood, I honestly don't know why you would, uh, you can take this off and replace it with any other foregrip accessories for the 74U that is Tokyo Marui compatible. And up to here, like I said, it's a standard 14mm counterclockwise AK-74U thread. And the sight up here is full metal. And a lot of 47s, the front sight can get knocked sort of off place and you have to push it back in. Uh, that can't, I don't see that being an issue at all with this one. So overall, I'm not too much of a fan of the of AK-47s overall, but for some reason I've always liked the AK-74U. I just like the feeling of it, feels nice in your shoulder, it overall feels very nice in your hands, uh, shoots fast, shoots hard, it's overall great. Um, not sure why I've liked 74U so much, but definitely a good gun. Alright, no uh, full videos. When it comes to shooting, chronos, and everything soon, um, so don't leave a comment within the first day asking for feet per second and so on. There is a chrono video. Go watch that. It should be actually it should be in the related videos. So I believe I have gone over everything. Oh, I almost had it bounced. Oh, that's good bounce. <laughs> anyway. I've gone over everything on this gun now, and that is the full review of the CYMA AK-74U. I'll see you guys next video.